the rear suspension fixed in the up position. Now let's see what's going to happen to the car. Trotting right ahead. Gently with the controls, 350. 580, a little bit of a yaw there. Jesus. Shoot one. The car suddenly veers off course and Green immediately fires the parachute. Well, let's just see his run abort in the measured mile. It's back to the tapes. So it's just after the shot was for 580, 590 when you get the shock over the, uh, the canopy, where it suddenly went kick left. With the tail locked up, the massive front wheels have dug into the desert, making Green lose control. 500. Going down. It's going down. God, look. Going right down. Oh, That's just there. It goes. That's where we lose it. They decide to compromise and use partly active suspension. I suggest we just found the strength limit of the Black Rock Desert with these wheels. Driving that car is not an easy undertaking at all. Um, Andy won't tell you that, but he's really been fighting that thing right the way down the line. It's a tremendous personal achievement from his point of view, absolutely tremendous personal achievement. But nevertheless, um, you know, the, the worry of the thing is, is very considerable. It weighs on us all. We have had reports of rain on the measured mile area of the track. We intend to uh, view this rain, which is uh, for the next 30 minutes. It is believed that the rain will clear uh, as, uh, within this 30 minutes. I will make an assessment whether it is possible to run uh, at the end of this time. We will monitor this rain for the next three or zero minutes. We anticipate and hope that this rain will clear. The sky certainly looks brighter from the direction of clearing. The weather is worsening and the car is ageing very fast. Just here, we've got, we've got a, a, a prep starting. So we stopped drilling and we're not the last one, they haven't gone any further. So you just got to look at these panels every turn round and make sure no rivets pop and they sort of stay bonded. Because there's implications, if you're losing the panel, the air going through at sort of like 700 mile an hour, will it sort of like go into the rear bays and explode the other panels off? He's exceptionally domesticated. He does an exceptionally good job of morning dishes. Pretty handy around the house, drives quite quickly, but no one's perfect. <laughs> oh, we want to run now, but we can't. I mean, what if it rains tomorrow and rains the next day and we can't run at all, then we've blown it. Mm. That's the worst part. But it doesn't rain, it snows. And in the freezing temperatures, the track isn't drying. No one knows if it's safe to run. Get down to the edge. This is the point where the car hits uh, peak dynamic load and gets it most unstable. And we've never run on this surface before. And we could try it, and it might be fine. We could try it, lose control. And I don't know what the answer is. Mm. What is this going to do when it's taking six or seven tons per wheel of load? Because yeah, you never experienced know. that, you know? No, I don't know. Your, your well, peak load was we about three and a half tons of wheel, wheel wasn't it? Yes, wheel but then um, we had narrow wheels too. Is it going to affect the stability of the car at all? It's very difficult to say. You can, you can almost say that that would give you a bit more compliance in the surface, mm. and it might make it a little bit givey. Um, but may make it better or may make it worse. I, I can't say. Exactly. I can't say. Now, given we are on the ragged edge of stability, mm. my feeling, and that's basically what it comes down to, my feeling is that we don't press a, what is potentially a bad situation. Well, it is a bad situation. It's also it's on question, the ragged edge of stability at 600. Yeah, but it's also a question of what speed you'd be doing when you get onto this. The question to me is, what happens to the machine? You can compress it. Yeah, sure, but the load bearing is fine. But bloody hell, you can run something on there. Well, based on the previous experience, I would have said this was good to run on, but if you're not mm. happy, then that's the end of it. Mm. Yeah, but Richard uh, never lost control at 600 miles an hour. I have once. In fact, I have twice. I've got it back once. Okay. Yeah, this is a 540 point. When well, it's 550 indicated 600 yeah. actual. Yeah. yeah, when it does, when it tends to do that. Yeah. And, and if one of the wheels is in a soft patch at the time, at the time it will be irrecoverable. Ruined. And then we might have a, a ruined car as well. Mm. Which would be bad. Which would be very bad. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, basically mm. that's it. Um, but tomorrow, we're going to have to get on with it. Time's running out, weather's well, running out, money's running out, everything's running yeah, out. Yeah, we need to press ourselves. People are running out. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm. we've got tomorrow. Mm.
Hello, Mum, it's me. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey, look, get watching the telly. We're going to go out and try and break the sound barrier. A C cleared to roll. All stations, SSC rolling. Cobb with that, all vehicles, stationary, stationary, stationary. SSC is rolling. Didn't get it. Looking for it again. Sort of. Got on that time. Now looking for Max. Three hundred, four hundred, sorry. Four fifty. Five hundred, wait for the kick left. Through it. Near enough. Seven hundred. There's a supersonic boom. Shoot one. Bastard, nothing. Shoot two. Recycle. Shoot one. Shoot two. Engines off at 400. Bastard, fuck, fuck, bastard shoots. Both parachutes fail, and the car is beginning to overshoot. As I see, negative shoots, negative shoots, going long. I see copies, negative shoots, negative shoots. Recovery, overrun, overrun. They'll have to turn around in less than an hour, and both runs need to be an average of over 760 miles an hour. Okay, mile, seven, six, four, point, one, six, eight. But the speed of sound varies. It has to be above Mach 1. Okay, and the provisional Mach number, I'm still working on that. Oh, come on, Petrali! They're going for it. Wait, 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 pardon, pardon. Oh, pardon. Hey, you're getting off, you're getting off. Get on with it. Go, go. The car has overshot by more than a mile. It'll take nearly 20 minutes to tow it back to the start. They're going to have to turn around faster than they've ever done it before to get back within the hour. Yep. Assuming they can find out what happened to the shoots, we're going again. What a boom! Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go! Pit station, this is you, Zach Tyler. Oh. Excuse the timing, go ahead. Uh, provisional Mach number on that run was 1.007. Come on! Stop! That's it! You're on! I'll take it around to the roof, Julian. Not yet, not yet, Mike. Still connected. Copied. All stations stand by. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes, two Two, two minutes to roll. Mallet from Fire Chase. Dog. What? Four months bottom, these ones are going. <coughs> Happy to run with it like that. So am I, because the lead is right, so. Yeah, okay, let's do it then. It's Monday 13th, we've got about one and a half minutes to get this car rolling, or we're out of time. Possibly only one minute. As soon as Nick appears, I'm going to go for it. All well, stations stand by. SSC is armed and his engine starts. Yes! Yeah. You said timekeeper's going to be ready. Engine start! You said timekeeping is ready. Pit station SSC ready to roll. SSC clear to roll. All stations SSC rolling. <laughs> Sorry, engines. No choice. Looking for mill. Mill, left engine's responding better, looking for Min. That's good, looking for Max. Now focus. Max burn at 300. Lost the line temporarily, there it is. 400. 500, stand by for the go left, there it goes. Get it back. Up the line again, still have it. He comes back even faster. Shockwaves appear just above the car.